Of course I'll pick you up, Jong Un. You're my favorite cousin. Great. I'll see you at the bus station at three o'clock. Have a great trip. Bye. Hello? Sun He, it's Professor Albi at NYU. Oh, hi Professor Albi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Ms. Leska is sick today. She has a class from 2 to 4 p.m. Can you teach her class? Oh, sorry. My cousin is visiting this week from Seattle, and he arrives today at 3. Oh, I see. Gee, I don't know what to do. Well... Wait... Listen, my roommate Tara can go to the bus station and meet my cousin. Miss Leska always helps me. That's great. Thanks a lot. See you at 1.30. Bye. Bye. Sure, Sunhi. I'd love to meet your cousin. So what does he look like? Well, he's in his 30s. Okay. And he's about average height, 5'6". And he's pretty heavy set. Uh-huh. And he has really long black hair and brown eyes. Okay, so does he speak English? Yes, he does. Oh, and I almost forgot. He wears really big glasses. Got it. Thanks so much for doing this for me. Hey, what are friends for? Oh, wow. I'm really late. Uh, I'll meet you back here at 4.30 with my cousin. Sure, no problem. Bye. Jong-un! Oh my gosh! Sun he Wow, you look so different. You're so thin. I eat healthier food now. And I go to the gym every day. Good for you. Hey, where are your glasses? Contact lenses. Oh. <laughs> and your hair, it's so short. It looks good on you. You look great. Hey, thanks. How did you find him? He looks so different now. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's begin. In Japan, you bow when you greet people, like this. That's cool. Hi. What are you two doing? Takeshi is teaching me traditional Japanese greetings for my trip to Japan. <laughs> Your trip to Japan? When? I have a big meeting in Tokyo in July. Wow, that's great. I'm a little nervous about the whole trip, though. Why? There's no need to be nervous. I'm kind of worried about making mistakes. I don't know anything about Japan. Don't worry, everything's going to be fine. And you have a good teacher. Mm. Let's see what else. Oh, remember, always use two hands when you give a person your business card, like this. That looks really good, Claudia. You're and a natural. Remember, <laughs> never use your finger to point. Ooh. That's actually rude in a lot of countries. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. In Japan, for luck, you jump three times and nod your head like this. What? Okay. Yeah. Let's try it. Come on. Come on, Claudia. Try it. Good. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> hey, they don't do that in Japan. You guys are joking. Oh. Come on, Claudia. I only wanted to teach you a very important lesson for traveling. Relax and have a little fun. You're right. Some teacher you are. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Takeshi. It's Mike. I'm at the supermarket getting some milk. Do we need anything? I don't know. Let me take a look. Let's see. Well, we need some fruit and some vegetables, too. Get some apples and oranges, maybe five or six of each and get three or four tomatoes and some carrots, maybe a pound. Got it. Hey, the lettuce looks really good. Do we need any? 
No, we don't need any more lettuce. We have three heads. You always buy it and then never make salads. Okay. Anything else? Uh, we need bread and some eggs. We don't need any eggs. We already have some. I don't see any eggs here. Trust me, I have a great memory. I think they're next to the yogurt. Yep, you're right, we have some. See? I guess that's it. Hey, how about hamburgers for dinner tonight? Ooh, great idea. How many do we need? I'm really hungry. Four? Nah, that's too many. Get two. Okay, two hamburgers. And how about rice? Do we have any? We have some, but there isn't much. Get one more bag. And are you writing all this down? Nah, I'm telling you, I have a great memory. Remember the eggs? Okay, I guess that's it. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. One, two, three. Hi, Mike. Hi, Takeshi. It's Mike. I forgot my, um... Wallet? How did you know? Do you have it? Yeah, I'm coming right now. Great memory, huh? I'm the one with the great memory. I never forget a thing. Never, ever forget a thing. Roberto, why are you bringing a sweater to Mexico City? It's summer there, so it's really hot, right? It's usually hot in the day, but sometimes at night it gets chilly. Oh. Well, what about the business suit? Isn't it a vacation? Yes and no. I have a big meeting on Tuesday, so I'm bringing the suit. But after Tuesday, it's vacation time. Hmm. Who are all the gifts for? Oh, my family lives in Mexico City, so I'm bringing them some souvenirs from New York. And who's the book for? It's for Maria, my niece. She's 10 years old. 10? You should get her something more fun, like a video game. Maria is young, but she loves books. She's really smart. Huh. What about this? Is this hers too? Oh, that? <laughs> that belongs to my dad. It's a souvenir from his New York visit, but he forgot it. Do you think I should get him another present? Well, that already belongs to him. Hey, you should get him a New York t-shirt or maybe a Yankees cap. Good idea. I can get that at the airport. That's it. Do you have your plane ticket and passport? Yes, and I have my hotel information, my car rental information, my cameras in my briefcase. And... Oh. Hey, whose is this? Another souvenir? Um, no, um, it's mine. It's yours? It was a good luck present from Claudia. I always travel with it. Ah! <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. He's very cute. And I'm sure he makes a great travel partner. Hi. Hey. Who's that? Her name is Rigoberta Menchu. She's one of my heroes. I really admire her. Where is she from? She was born in Guatemala, and now she is a human rights activist in Latin America. In 1992, she won the Nobel Peace Prize. Wow. What did she do? Well, she risked her life to help her people. She's still working for social change. She's a very intelligent woman and a great leader. She sounds like a really strong person. Strong and brave, too. Hi. Oh, hi. What are you doing? 
Well, did you see Claudia's picture of Rigoberta Menchu? Yeah, she told me all about her. Is this one of your heroes? Yeah, her name is Jung Hee Kang. That's an old picture. Is she still alive? No, she died three years ago. Sorry to hear that. Uh, what did she do? Well, she was a very successful entrepreneur. Really? Yeah, she moved away from home when she was really young. And then she studied and worked very hard to become a success. But she always helped people who needed it. She helped me a lot. Wow. Was she famous? No, not really. Did she win any prizes or anything? No. She wasn't famous. She didn't win any prizes. Who was she? She was my grandmother. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's the matter? I had a really strange dream last night. Really? Do you remember it? I think so. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but it was really weird. Come on. Try. Well, I remember in my dream it was daytime and I was in my pajamas and I saw a man in the street. I stopped and asked him where to buy a ticket. A ticket? A ticket for what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? I'm not sure, but I remember that I began talking to him and I really enjoyed it. We laughed a lot. He reminded me of someone. Yeah, and then? And then he hugged me and it was Mike. No! Really? Do you remember anything else? No, but something else happened. I'm sure of it. I'll think. I got it. We talked some more, and then he shook my hand, and then he began to dance. Like this. <laughs> Oh, like a ballet dancer? Yeah, and then I woke up. This is so scary. Why? What are those? They were a surprise. I got us two tickets to a show tonight. The New York City Ballet. Ah. Hi, we're back. Anybody home? Hmm. Hey, what's that? Oh, it's a note from Claudia. Hi girls, there's a cool new restaurant near my office. Let's have dinner there tonight. My treat. The name is Giovanni's and it's on West Houston Street between McDougall and Sullivan. You can't miss it, Claudia. P.S. The traffic is terrible down there. Take the subway and walk. Oh, it sounds like fun. Let's go. Yeah, let's. Yeah, okay. All right. Can I get the note up? Okay, let's see. I don't have Claudia's note. I forgot it. Don't worry about it. Claudia said you can't miss it. We can find it. Come on. Ugh, where is it? I don't know. And it's raining. Let's ask him. Excuse us. Uh, we're looking for a restaurant called Giovanni's. Do you know oh. where it is? Giovanni's. I know the name. What street is it on? I think it's on West Houston Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, Giovanni's. It's, it's on West Houston between McDougal and Sullivan Street. That's right. right. That was in the note. So can you give us directions? Yeah, sure. It's pretty close. You walk two blocks down this street, you turn left at the gym on the corner. Okay. Then you walk one more block. There's a big nightclub called uh, Up Close. It's on the corner of West Houston and McDougal. Nightclub called Up Close. That's it. Turn right on West Houston, walk about 200 meters. It's in the middle of the block on the right. You can't miss it. Good luck. Okay, great, thanks. 
Did you understand that? Um, sort of. But we're late. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. This is the same street we were on five minutes ago. Forget it. We're lost. And I'm hungry. Me too. Let's take a taxi! Taxi! I can't believe it. The restaurant was right across the street from the subway station. Well, like Claudia said, you can't miss it. I want to play. Really? Yeah, I love baseball. Do you play baseball? Yes, I love to play baseball. I'm pretty athletic, you know. Really, how often do you play? Ah, all the time. Well, maybe not that often. Five or six times a year. How about you? How often do you play sports? Oh, once in a while. I don't play baseball very often, but I go swimming once a week, and I love to play tennis. Oh yeah? How often do you play? Well, right now, I play about twice a month, but I'd like to play more, maybe every week. Roberto plays tennis all the time. He's on a tennis team. Really? Yeah. Maybe you should play tennis with him. Good idea. Oh, wait a minute. It's really competitive. Well, kind of. He's pretty serious about sports. I don't know. I'm not all that competitive. I just want to have fun. <laughs> Me too. That's why I don't like playing sports with Roberto very often. 